This podcast is about the Magna Carta, which was signed in 1215 by King John. It sets taxes at a fixed rate for barons and gives basic rights to serfs. In addition to this, if King John didn't do these things, the council of 25 barons could seize power from him until he rectified it. The Archbishop of Canterbury helped negotiate this treaty when King John offered a meeting with the Pope to sort it out, but the barons decided against this and the treaty was signed at Runnymede. This treaty came at a time after King John had lost land in front, and then the war followed it. During the war, he had levied heavy taxes on the barons to fund the war. With the loss of the war and subsequent loss of morale again, amongst all the people, as well as King John having to pay compensation when he sued for peace, this led to the barons making the Magna Carta, which was an incomplete set of demands which was expanded at Runnymede. The reason Runnymede was chosen was because it was roughly in between the rebel camp and Windsor Castle, and was on neutral ground that provided no advantage to either side from a military perspective. This was an important document as it was one of the first articles to constrict the power of kings at the time. While there had been previous occasions when subjects had risen up and forced the king to change what he was doing, it had never been in writing and agreed to by the king. This came at a time when kings ruled absolutely and their world was law, and as such it was considered a revolutionary document, as well as it giving serfs rights at, the t at a time when they were considered almost not human. Thank you. Thank you for listening, and good night. By Bracken and Dad.